So I've been looking at the uh, interview that Mohammed bin Salman did, marking the five-year anniversary of the Vision 2030 program. And I think it's really interesting to note a few things about it. One is the audience. Um, of course, he did this um, as an interview in Arabic on the Saudi satellite television, Rotana, on an interview program, Aliwan, which kind of is known for its uh, more nationalist message. And I think this tells us one that the, the main audience really is the Saudi audience. He's really trying to speak to Saudis uh, about this important anniversary. And when you look at the topics, it's really uh, then marks the topics that Saudi citizens are concerned about. And it's interesting to think about those, right? What are they? Um, it's about uh, housing, uh, demands placed on the private sector, rising taxation, um, uh, falling incomes, concerns about unemployment, really these kind of bread and butter issues. And I think the main message that we see him making is keep the faith in the Vision 2030 program. We've made a lot of progress. We've set up the entire format for having success. And once we get past this difficult period of the coronavirus uh, pandemic, which has set us back, we're ready for a really uh, fast trajectory. So um, I think in addition to that, um, it's, it's interesting to see that all the different topics that Mohammed bin Salman looks at, um, everything's really focused on really achieving this growth for the kingdom, uh, really on, on economic investment. So whether you're talking about the way the state has been organized, that's to best achieve this, uh, you know, to create the pit, the public investment fund for investment and to really drive this change in the economy. Um, whether you're looking at how new things have been structured in the private sector and with the big companies, again, to get more investment for the economy. Even when you're looking at like judicial reform or things talking about that, that's also that we need to structure things so that we can invite more foreigners in and have more investment in the economy. Even foreign policy, it says, is to establish a good reputation for the kingdom and influence so that foreigners will want to invest in the kingdom. So I think it's really a quite single-minded uh, uh, view for this talk, uh, really focused on that uh, and on the success that he, that he sees moving forward. Um, and so really you only get um, issues about foreign policy very much at the end. And even those you can see if he's talking about Iran or the United States, it's about not having problems with the neighbors. So I think we can really get a sense of where Saudi Arabia and where its leadership is uh, right now. And that's a single-minded view on the economy and its growth.